This video is related to iMac Mailer, a mass mailing software made by Key Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about iMac Mailer's user interface. iMac Mailer features a multi-document user interface. It means you can have an unlimited number of mailing projects kept in separate mailing list files. Take a look at the screen. Currently, we can see two mailing projects open. Every document window has the same appearance and functionality. So, let's start. The main document window consists of several functional parts. First of all, it's the main document toolbar. It's on top of the document window. It contains all important commands, such as import, export, subscribe and unsubscribe, save and send. This button will start sending, reset, it will reset sending attributes, we will talk about it later, and preferences. Next is Project Navigator. It's located on the left side of the document window. It lets you switch between different data lists, such as recipient list, message list, and field list. Now let's talk about the, the data lists themselves. Let's switch our project to the recipient list and take a look at it. Recipient list shows you your recipient database in the table form. This table has headers and you can click on the headers to change order and order direction. You can edit information, edit your recipient database using this list. You just click on a field and just modify it. You can also add new recipients manually using the plus button. You can also delete recipients from this list. You just choose the ones you want to delete and press the minus button. You can also enable and disable recipients in the list. If you, if you choose a bunch of recipients and press this uh, uncheck button, they will become disabled. That means they will be excluded from sending. Or you can enable them. You can also enable or disable them individually by using those checkboxes or just a space bar on your keyboard. Another thing of, of a data list is the action menu. It's available by pressing the gear button. Once you press it, you see all the commands that are available for this list. If you don't like the way this view looks like, you can change it. You can press this little corner button and uh, for instance you can hide some fields you do not wish to see and uh, you can show them back. You can also change the sort order using this sort by menu it's uh, very useful when uh, when you hide the field let's say you hide the website and you still wish to change uh, your order and order the list by website you can use this menu and still be able to order 
the list by websites. Another useful feature is search. Take a look at the document toolbar. It has a search box here. You can choose a recipient field which will be used for searching. You can search by email addresses, you can search by names, you can search by order numbers, by products, websites, whatever. Let's search by email addresses. We type uh, the search string which will be used for matching and uh, take a look at the recipient list. The number of recipients decreased and we only see the net addresses here. Or we can search for com addresses. Or we can search for email addresses that start from info. And we end up with only two email addresses start, start, starting with info. And if you wish to cancel search, you just press this button and searches is cancelled. All data lists support drag and drop and cut and paste. Let's say you want to move three these recipients to another mailing list. You can just select them and press the cut menu item. And you can then paste those recipients to a different list by using the paste command. You can also use the drag and drop technique to move recipients from one list to another. You choose the recipients you want to move. And you drag them and drop them onto another mailing list project. And those recipients, you can see them that they are selected, move to the new list. Undo and redo are also available in the data lists. Let's say you change something, like name of recipient in the data list. And now, you invoke the undo command by pressing the command Z key combination as you normally do in Mac OS and take a look this change was rolled back another change was rolled back then remember we pasted new recipients to the list they also disappeared and uh, the undo stack is not limited you can undo all the operations basically uh, to the beginning of all the changes. Redo works similarly. You, as you normally do, you use the command shift z key combination, press it once, and those recipients we pasted return back, press it another, another time, and this modification return back another time and uh, that notification returned back also. Now the detail view. We were talking about uh, the data list and now we will be talking about uh, the detail view. When you switch between entities in, the da in a data list you can actually see that this view, the detail view, also changes. And it actually shows you, once, once you select one particular recipient, it shows you 
all the data fields which you see here in a table form. The detail view is very convenient in terms, in terms of editing and it shows you all the data fields even if uh, the data list doesn't show them. For instance, we have hidden the website field and we don't see it in the, in the data list but we still see it in the detail view and we still can use it this field to edit information and it's very convenient to switch between the fields you are editing just by using the tab button on the keyboard up until now we were talking about recipient list and its detail view. Now I want to direct your attention to the same functionality in other lists. Let's switch to message list. Message list shows you all your messages in a table form. It also has a header for subject and you can click on it to change sorting. It also has checkboxes you can use to include your messages to sending or exclude them from sending. You can also add messages using the plus button or delete them using the minus button. Undo and redo is also available so we can undo our change by pressing the command Z key combination on the keyboard. Um, you can enable or disable batches of messages. It also has a action menu where all commands are available. And uh, you can use this little corner button to change sorting and do other stuff related to table columns. And uh, of course, message list also has a detail view below, right here. But there is only one difference uh, between recipient detail view and uh, the message detail view. Message detail view features a message editor. You actually compose your message right here in this box. And uh, depending on the message type, it will show you plain text message editor or rich text message editor or it can also show you an HTML message editor all the message editors have the macro source table which can be used uh, to drag available macros and uh, drop them onto the message body and this table can be hidden or shown by pressing this little button and of course uh, the message list has uh, the search functionality you can narrow the number of messages shown in the view and pretty much it let's switch to the field list field list shares the same absolutely the same functionality you can search for fields You can add new fields, remove existing fields, undo and redo is also available. You can enable fields or disable fields. You can sort them. Field list also has a detail view which you can use for editing. And this is pretty much it, this was uh, an overview of the user interface.